What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name of Toys video. I hope everyone is having a happy Thanksgiving, man. Today, at the time of, of doing this video and posting this video up, it is happy Thanksgiving, or it, or it isn't happy Thanksgiving. I hope it's a happy Thanksgiving, but today is Thanksgiving Day. I hope you guys just fill your, your stomachs with more f food than you're, you're supposed to, or I quote-unquote supposed to, but hope everybody has a very blessed holiday and enjoy your time with your family, man. Just soak that thing in, man. But today, we're going to be diving into action figure reveals, and I hope you guys do, you know, join me along as we take a look at these figures man we got a lot to talk about and i can't wait for it should be a long one we got a lot of stuff to discuss so with that being said man let's go ahead and dive straight into it yesterday we did have a brand new gallery of wwe action figures posted up to wwe.com and there was some reveals so let's go ahead shut the hell up and dive straight into it so starting things off first man we're going to get into the ultimate edition roman reigns figure now this figure right here is one that i'm very excited for i can't lie this is one of the figures that i'm most excited for coming into next year i don't think these are gonna hit i mean i guess it's possible these could hit before Christmas, but retail launch, these are going to hit in 2024, but these may hit ringside before, you know, Christmas time or, or the new year. But nonetheless, man, this Roman Reigns is one of the figures that I'm most excited for. I think it looks really epic. However, you guys do know, I mean, you can obviously tell there are some things about this figure that are very weird, but there are some things about this figure that make no sense whatsoever. Starting out first, man, I mean, looking at the head sculpts, we all, we all discussed it. I've been begging Mattel to make us a taper beard and fade head sculpt forever. I've been begging for it. I mean, I want to say it's been like three years maybe i do believe like 2020 is when i started saying that it may have been before that i'm not entirely sure you guys know that i had uh, custom head sculpts made because you know it was taking so long for mattel to do it i said you know what brad i'll just do it myself and have you know a custom one from bew and it looks fantastic and gets the job done but i really would like to see mattel release one just to have you know some options to pick and choose pop them on multiple figures of roman reigns and make fix-ups i have a, a lot of figures i'd like to fix up but so the first head sculpt is the elite 103 which is not the biggest deal the Elite 103 one, I can, you know, I understand. I wanted a new head sculpt, but you know what? That one's not as bad, but... The screaming head sculpt being the same exact screaming head sculpt from the Ultimate Edition. And then the man bun head sculpt makes no sense, man. It makes no sense. I mean, this is the Elite 79 Roman Reigns head sculpt, the man bun head sculpt, which is a long time ago, man. I mean, that is almost 30 series ago that we saw that head sculpt. And on top of that, his his facial hair isn't even accurate. I don't I can't remember the last time he just had like the mouth goatee or like, you know what I'm saying? Just that middle part goatee. I couldn't tell you the last time Roman Reigns wore that on, on WWE television. And I remember back in the day when we first got that head sculpt, I remember a custom painting mine. I'm pretty sure, like, I made his own tapered beard and fade using paint with that head sculpt back in the day on action figure surgery or something like that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've done that. May have to go back on the channel or, or my Instagram to look for that, man, but just a very odd choice. And the likeness is great. It looks just like Roman Reigns. It really does. It's not that it's a bad head sculpt. It just doesn't fit this figure whatsoever. First of all, has he smiled unless it's been like putting somebody in agony in three or four years? Ever since this man went on this tribal chief run, he has not looked like this at all. So it's a very questionable decision. I pray that, you know, they are our Roman Reigns head sculpts in the development. And maybe they maybe they had that in the works or something like that or, or something of that nature, man. Because I refuse to believe that they were like, oh yeah, this one's going to fit perfectly. Maybe it is just a placeholder and maybe that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But another thing about this figure is the damn championships. What's up with this mixture. You, you guys remember the video on the channel where we used to do like custom WWE figure championships that you could make yourself? This was one of the options, man. Putting that universal main blue plate onto the title with the black strap. It looks sick as hell. It's a very sick championship, but it's never existed. So it is very odd. I don't know what's going on there. He does have his side plates and everything. He does have the Wii the one hand. I'm very much looking forward to this figure. Nothing has changed about me wanting this figure. However, I am going to make a fix up and I did actually do a little uh, customization job where I photoshopped my custom head sculpts on this figure figure and I will put that up in the video so you guys can see what that kind of looks like but yeah man need a tapered beard need a, a tapered fade for the Roman Reigns and Finn Balor figures in 2024 that is my big request we were on that AJ Styles torso train you know we, we've been begging for different formula changes the Angelo Dawkins torso change and formula fix now it is on to Roman Reigns and Finn Balor tapered beard and head sculpts I mean I've been wanting those higher priority than the others probably I don't know about the AJ Styles but nonetheless man let's move the hell on we're getting into the next figure here I really do think 
think the Roman, Reign the Roman Reigns looks good. It just needs a new head sculpt, man. But this Asuka figure, man, this Asuka figure could be in runnings for, I mean, this might be a top 10 Mattel WWE action figure ever made. I mean, the gear is freaking fantastic. You got the gold in there, the zebra print, the pink and blue. We've discussed this figure a lot, and I love this figure. I love the head sculpts. I uh, remember when she came out the Rumble, I've said it multiple times. This is just a phenomenal figure. This is going to easily be one of the top figures of the year when it finally hits. This is just an unbelievable piece. It's amazing. What an amazing figure. Knocked it out of the park. All the butterfly joints, all the details, the hair and the ombre, the robe. I mean, this thing is spectacular. I don't have to really spend any time on this. We know how beautiful it looks. It's got the toe articulation in there. This is a beast, man. I cannot wait for this figure. This is gonna, like, the Ultimate Edition Series 20 as a whole is an absolute beast. I know they threw Undertaker in there, which is like a Greatest Hits Ultimate Edition, but just having Asuka and Roman Reigns together, just one, like, I know a lot of people are gonna poop on the Roman Reigns figure, and I understand you pooping on that figure, but at the end of the day, if you take off the head sculpt and put a different head sculpt on there, and you don't have the title debacle, this figure right here looks phenomenal. It looks just like Roman Reigns. This figure looks just like Asuka, so that that's some promising things there, but both of these figures I am very, very excited for. Cannot wait for those, absolutely, but moving on to the next one, man, we do have the Undertaker Greatest Hits Ultimate Edition being put in here. This Undertaker figure is the same exact Undertaker we saw. Again, it is a Greatest Hits figure, so if you guys missed out on that first option, um, I can't remember if that Ultimate Edition Undertaker back then, like the Series 12 or 13 Undertaker, had pinless joints. I want to say it had pinless joints, so I don't think there's any updates whatsoever to this. I hate that, like, Kane is Undertaker or Undertaker is Kane head sculpt on the far right. Not the tongue out head sculpt. Love the tongue out head sculpt. I don't mind the one that originally looked like Michael Jackson. It's not terrible, but that one, like the Undertaker is Kane head sculpt, where it looks like his head's elongated, I hate that head sculpt. It's so bad. I don't like it whatsoever. It looks ridiculous. That is Undertaker Greatest Hits. If you guys missed out on that one, there is that. But we're moving on now into some other Ultimate Editions, man. We have the Walmart exclusive Monday Night War Bret Hart Ultimate Edition here with the leather jacket. Now, I have mixed feelings about this figure. I, you know, I loved Bret Hart's first two Ultimate Editions. His Target exclusive one in the all pink attack is freaking fantastic. I love that figure so much. This one right here, I like the gear. I love the leather jacket. I think they're going to get a lot of usage out of that leather jacket. We're seeing that leather jacket on Roddy Piper. We're seeing it on Bret Hart. We're seeing it on Eric Bischoff. So they're going to be getting that leather jacket a hell of a lot, which is fine because a lot of people wear leather jackets, especially back then. So it's going to be, uh, you could put a lot of people in that jacket. But nonetheless, these head sculpts, man, I do not like these head sculpts. It's Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Becky Lynch. There are a handful of people that they just seem to not be able to nail. And Bret Hart is one of those guys. Not that these head sculpts are just, I don't know, I just don't like them. I, I don't like them, man. I don't like these head sculpts. You get the championship, you get the three interchangeable heads, you get your leather jacket, interchangeable arms, interchangeable hands, you get his shades. Also, the shades are a bit weird placed in the packaging. I think this figure would look better men on card if he was actually wearing the glasses. And with this figure wearing the glasses, it doesn't look that bad, but I just don't like these head sculpts, man. I'm just not a fan of these head sculpts. And Bret Hart getting his third ultimate edition here. I mean, it is what it is, man, but I, I do, I certainly like the other half of this wave better than the Bret Hart figure. I love the Roddy Piper, man. I freaking love this Roddy Piper, and I think it's December, it's either December 7th or December 9th that the new Coliseum Collection Roddy Piper and George the Animal Steel is going up on Mattel Creations, and also tomorrow is the last day that you can pre-order the LWO 5-pack, so definitely uh, keep that stuff in mind, man, when you're celebrating your holiday. Don't forget about that day deadline, man. Don't don't let that slip past because I still haven't ordered it yet. I've been putting it off. I need to go ahead and get my order in so that uh, I don't miss out on that because I really want to do that. And I'm trying to figure out if I want two of them. I, I don't know what I'm doing over there, but the Roddy Piper here, this reminds me of Toy Biz WCW Roddy Piper, and I loved that figure as a kid. I just thought it was so cool. You had the bagpipe. Can you imagine if this guy came with a bagpipe? But uh, I loved that figure back then as a kid. And so seeing this just gives me a lot of nostalgia feel. Love the way this looks. Love the kilt. Love the leather jacket. Love the different shirts you're getting in here. Freaking sweet, man. I love these head sculpts too, man. These look just like Roddy Piper from this time period. I think they nailed it absolutely. Just, just fantastic stuff of a raw. Like the formula. Like the gear. I love this Roddy Piper. I like the Roddy Piper a hell of a lot more than the Bret Hart. And uh, the head sculpts are not even close. They're not even measurable. The, the Roddy Piper looks so much better than the Bret Hart in my opinion. But you guys can let me know what you guys think about these ultimate 
additions down in the comment section below. And if you guys own that freaking Toy Biz Roddy Piper, if you guys were Team Toy Biz WCW figures, so great. So great back in the day growing up with those as a kid. Just, I love those so much. So we're moving on though, man, to the next one. And we do have the Rock Family 3-Pack. This Legacy WWE Generations Maya Villa Legacy Pack. Now, it'd be cool to see this like happen with some other superstars. I don't know how people could really like who all you could do this with but it's still sick as hell you have high chief in there the rock rocky johnson all three of these guys look like stud muffins i mean look at these guys right here tons of tattoo decals you got the polo tee you got the watch you got the loafers this is an amazing pack really looking forward to this i love how i love how high chief has shin cut that is that makes the world go round so tell me why he can have shin cut right there but uh finn balor can't have you got new boots on rocky you have shin cut on the rock figure dude what what a freaking beast of a pack. You get the bracelet and the watch. This is such a money pack. I mean, I'd imagine that these have to be hitting relatively soon, but I'm very excited for this pack. I think it looks awesome. I love the packaging. Really, really clean packaging. Uh, I love three packs and four packs and all those different things, but all these guys look like beasts. I love the tattoos on High Chief. I, I love it. I think all of this looks so, so good, and I bet uh, some of these figures right here are going to be, like, very, very poseable. They look really poseable, and I can't wait for them, man, so this should be a really fun pack, but that is the Maya Via Legacy pack. I'd love to know what you guys think of it down below. I don't know if this thing's gonna, like, I feel like it's either gonna be, like, blink and you miss it at your store, or it's gonna be there for a little bit, you know what I mean? So, I guess it's just gonna depend on retail price. It is Walmart exclusive, so it's gonna be hard to find anyway, because you guys know how freaking Walmart is, and they're terrible just system of doing things, but uh, what, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? So we'll have to see if we can track this thing down, get a review in. Of course, I'm definitely going to be reviewing this pack, but nonetheless, that is the Maya Via Legacy 3-pack, man. Let's move things forward to the new top talents wave. We have Cody Rhodes, Sheamus, and Logan Paul, and two of these figures, I mean, all three of these figures are so good. They're very, very good. Very good figures right here, but one of them is a re-release, but uh, the other two, one of them's a repaint, then we have like a brand new figure, but let's start things off with Cody Rhodes, man. This Cody Rhodes Rhodes looks so good, man. It's so cool because we're getting another Supreme attire. I'm pretty sure this was done by AEW Jazzwares in their Supreme line. The red and blue gear. Very, very clean aesthetic to this figure. You guys know that Cody Rhodes figures pose around so good. They have great feel. They feel great in hand. They pose around well. They look just like him. They're using the Ultimate Edition Smiling Head Sculpt. No new weight belt yet, but you could easily put one of the AEW ones on there until we get a new weight belt sculpt for Cody Rhodes. This is a great figure. I know it's more of a repaint of anything, but uh, they did put the Ultimate Edition head sculpt on there. Gave it pinless joints on the arms, and, you know, it already has the pinless joints. I mean, this is a beautiful figure. It looks great, men on card with the coloration. This Cody Rhodes is great. I love this. I love Cody. This is so good. I mean, I know the neck tattoo's still not accurate. They definitely need to just... Dude, lower the tattoo, man. Lower the tattoo. It's not that close to the ear. Come on, Brad. That's something that we need to address as well, but... This Cody looks great. I have no quarrels about this. Definitely picking up this every time I see it. Add to the Cody Rhodes just spanding collection. So that is nice. But we also have Logan Paul. And man, I got to tell you, this is a fantastic looking action figure, man. From the entrance gear to the prime bottle to the head sculpt and everything like that. Now, it is missing some details. I'm pretty sure it's missing wrist tape, right? I think it's missing some sunglasses. It also had a logo, I think, on the headband that's missing. But at the end of the day, I don't think that really matters that much. I think this is arguably better than his Ultimate Edition. Now, you're not going to have the interchangeable arm gear, but you do get cloth goods. You get the prime bottle. You get a great-looking figure from head to toe. He's going to pose around fantastic. And, you know, his Ultimate Edition, uh, it, it was kind of plain Jane, as articulated as it was and how great it looks. Like, the gear was kind of plain Jane. I like the blue added in here. I like everything going on here. And I know the prime bottle is also the wrong shape. Like, I don't drink prime, but I do see it enough to know that that is the wrong shape of the bottle. So that is a little bit, you know, it is what it is. I don't think that's, like, the biggest deal ever. It would have been cool to get the exact shape of the bottle, but to even just get the Prime bottle is really, really cool, but this is a great looking figure. I think it's going to be hard to keep this thing on shelves. I think uh, a lot of people are going to be wanting this figure, especially the people that miss out on the Ultimate. They're going to definitely want to track this thing down, but that entrance gear looks great. The gear overall looks great F in figure form. I wasn't a real big fan of the of the figure. I wasn't a big fan of his gear when he came out in it, but in figure form, I really do like it, like the shiny blue and everything like that. Really does look awesome, well, so we'll have to see when this thing comes out, but the Sheamus figure, again, is the Elite 97 Sheamus, and while that is a fantastic Sheamus figure, it is not necessarily new, but it is really good, so that is good, but uh, this whole wave is really great. I think it's a great Top Talents wave. I think a lot of people are going to be excited to get their hands on these if you missed out on different figures in this set. Uh, this is a great spot to grab them, so Cody, Logan, and Sheamus are killing it in this new Top Picks wave, and I like that it's all like a, just a breath of fresh air, but nonetheless, we are moving on to the 
the next figure, man. We have WWE Elite Series 107, and we're diving into Finjamin Balor, man. You guys know I'm a massive Finn Balor fan, so getting this figure here, I do love this figure. I love this figure. I have, like, different, you know, we're going to just break down all the knowledge here, but starting out first, I've talked about it already. I don't like the Elite 82 head sculpt. While it does fit fine here, it's not like the end of the road. If you look at the packaging for this figure, it has the, the appropriate look for Finn Balor. Like, his hair is supposed to be longer and different stuff like that. Beard's supposed to be a little bit bushier. I mean, I guess the beard's not the biggest thing here, but it's really the hair sculpt, man. It's taking this head sculpt and adding some hair and adding some different stuff. Maybe, like, uh, tapering. Like, I just want the tapered beard and tapered haircut on the sides. But outside of that, this figure from the neck down is pretty much beautiful. I, I you know, I, I love it for like a, a promo style fin. This is an absolute cop every single time I see it. I think it looks so good, like double jointed arms, Looking freaking great. You got the, the Judgment Day joggers in there. He does have his custom Jordan 1s on, but of course they can't put the swoosh on there. But they did add all the logos and stuff like that. So that's actually really, really cool that they were able to do that. And I actually follow the guy that made these kicks for Finn Balor on Instagram. and following him for a long time now. I think it's like Mac or Match 275 or something of that nature. And they did a really great... Like that shoe, they have the, you know, the Balor X's on there and the logos and stuff like that. We are going to have to add the swooshes, but the only thing I hate about this this, this figure, we're going to break down all the things I don't like about the figure, but I, I did want to praise it first, is that's the John Cena shoe mold, and while the John Cena shoe mold does look like Jordan 1's, like the silhouette is very similar, you could even put Ultimate Edition Cena feet in there probably and get away with it and custom paint them and stuff like that, they may be a bit oversized, but we'll dive into that, but the Uso Jogger pants here, or these Montez Ford style pants, I, I, I can't tell exactly what the mold is, I want to say it's Elite 81 Montez Ford, but I could be wrong about that, or maybe, maybe it's a new mold, they don't have shin cut, man, and while it does have ankle cut. Shin cut added to this figure would do a lot of wonders for it, but it does have the John Cena feet, man, and the John Cena feet are just so outdated. That is another thing that I, I need to make a whole video on this, like all the list of things that I do not like right now about Mattel action figures and like my least favorite things that happen from figure to figure. And the John Cena shoes or the shoe mold right here has to be near the top of the list. I mean, these have been around since like Elite 3, which is just over a decade ago. So these, these shoes, we need new shoes, man. They don't stand well. They want to fall forward. They don't have good like ankle pivots, so they fall easily. They don't stand. They feel like they could, you know, like, they just don't have good stability. But outside of that, like, no shin cut, Elite 82 head sculpt, John Cena shoes. This is still a badass figure. I mean, look at that jacket. Great looking jacket. You get the two mask interchangeable head sculpts, which is cool, you know. I, I, I do love that. You get to shoot her hands. And I love Finn Balor, so I am really excited about this figure for sure. But I had to mention those gripes and things like that. But shin cut, again, would have been nice to add to this figure. But I am still looking forward to it. It even has the X on the sleeve. So lots of details going on with the figure. But it for sure could have been better, but... I'm still very much looking forward to this figure. Going to dress him up. Going to make multiple Finn Balor customs and things of that nature. So this figure should be a lot of fun. Can't wait to review this on the channel. I love Finn. This is great. Never mind. Let's move on. I know you guys are sick of me talking about it. So let's move on to the next one. We have the Elite 107 Solo Sokoa. And this is a very interesting development as well, man. And this is why I thought this news video would go long. Because there's a lot of different things that I wanted to break down about these different figures. I don't want to just say, yeah, here's Solo Sokoa. I want to break it down for you. I want to talk about it a little bit. So first of all, this is a a brand new head sculpt. This is this is a new head sculpt here. It is slightly different from his Elite 104. And this torso, if I like I've been trying to compare and contrast, I'm pretty sure this is a brand new one of one torso. This is not a repeated torso. This is not the Elite 103 Angelo Dawkins style torso. This is not the Legend Samu torso. This this looks to be a brand new torso. Now, on top of having a brand new torso, and I just noticed they added the, the Samoan spike hand. A lot of people were telling me that they left it off. It's it's right there, so that's good. But it does have this little waist wrap thing that you can push up like over his belly button. I think that's also going to add to the aesthetic of the figure. If you slide up that solo waistband, like right over the belly button, like right there at the top of the waist, I think that's going to really add to the figure as well. But he is in his War Games gear right here in the red and black, which looks great. This, the legs are still super skinny. I, I feel like like it's because you have those bulky shorts and then you have just like this skinny leg coming out of the bottom of it I think it kind of throws it off a little bit and I think that's like what the bigger issue is or what a lot of people don't like about it and some people were saying it's too big some people were saying different things about it this torso that that torso I feel like this figure looks a whole lot better than it did originally on Bill's live stream when they were revealing the figure I think it 
hit this, like different angles. I think it's more of the legs that give me an issue now that kind of throw it off. But I think from the waist up, figure looks pretty damn good. I mean, you're getting your We The One shirt in there. You get your Samoan Spike hand. It's not perfect by any stretch, but it's still a damn good representation of Solo, and it's certainly better than his very, very lean Elite 104 figure. So, I mean, I don't know what to say here, Brad. I really like this figure. I like the towel over the head. I like the We The One shirt. This is great. I'm looking forward to this. I think Elite 107 is a damn good football wave, and I would imagine... This is probably, well, I guess Elite 106 hasn't hit yet. I bet this doesn't hit till after the new year, but uh, Elite 107 looking like a very strong wave. But uh, let's move on, man, to the next figure, which is going to be Undertaker. And this one looks awesome. You know, we discussed it a little bit, how we thought that this figure would be kind of underwhelming. And now that we got some more developments, it looks a little bit better. It's got the freaking BSK Pride tattoo, which for a long time I was begging Mattel for an Elite with his shirt off, and now we have a few different ones. So you could even make this into a classic Undertaker. You know, you pop the head sculpt off. You can put a younger style Undertaker in there, change the hands, different things of that nature, but I'm liking the way this figure looks. I love the hat accessory, the gloves. It comes with a watch on the side. I'm really uh, excited to see which figure makes it out first that has a watch because there's so many different Mattel WWE elites and different things like that that are coming with a watch and we haven't seen one released just yet, so I'm excited to see which one makes it out first, but uh, this figure looks really, really good. I'm actually excited for it. It's got the Undertaker, you know, anniversary shirt on there, which looks great. I, I think this is an underrated piece. So we're going to have to see about that. I don't think it's going to crack the code or, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be setting the world on fire, but certainly an underrated figure in the set. You know, this is like, you know how I dig at figures for being like, you know, the, the guy at the con, like it looks like he's signing autographs. This may be kind of that signing autograph style Undertaker at the meet and greet. But it still looks like a damn meet and greet I'd like to go to. So that's good. Next up, we do have Otis, man. And this figure looks really good, man. Really, really good Otis figure right here. I am enjoying this one a whole lot. He still has the sculpted on knee pads, which I think is the way to go. I think that's such an underrated quality. Like, you're not going to be able to pop these legs off and get, like, bare legs somewhere. But Otis has some of the most underrated figures. And these head sculpts look, so, or this head sculpt looks great. And again, he does have, like, the hair slick back version. He's got the shoe shirt. It's just a really phenomenal figure. I mean, if you want a figure that represents a guy off your television, this is one of those. And I think that this wave is actually going to be pretty tough to rank when it's all said and done. So that should be really fun. But I'm a fan of Otis. I'm a fan of Shush. I like this. I can't wait to get this one in here and pair it with our Elite 106 Chad Gable, which could also be the best figure in that set. So... That'll be really fun to see and compare those two once we get them in hand. Great gear on both of those guys as well, but let's move on to the Grayson Waller figure. We have the black version, and then we have the white version. I do believe the black attire is the Chase variant, if I'm not mistaken, but the white and pink is super clean, man. That fl The flames on the shorts looking airbrushed. The head sculpt's okay. I'm not the biggest Grayson Waller fan, but uh, I do like the figures. I think they're pretty cool. He's got a really cool formula and aesthetic going on with him here. Of course, the hair sculpts, they do have like, the one has the fuller hair, one has the fade, and then his knee pads are the Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition knee pads, which is an interesting choice. Probably not going to be able to bend the guy's knees, so that's kind of weird there, but uh, we'll definitely put some different knee pads or something like that on there to make him fix, but pretty solid figure overall. I think the formula looks good. I think it's overall a very solid addition here, and I think it looks like the character on my TV. So that's, again, man, that's a big thing, especially when it comes to ranking figures and how I like my figures. I want it to represent the source material, man. You want it to look like what you see on television. You want it to look like what you see in the ring and at, at pay-per-views and things of that nature. So that is nice to see for Grayson Waller. And then finishing up Elite 107, we do have Cora Jade. And she's looking good. You know, we did get to see a little bit of her figure uh, the other day when we saw the Ultimate Edition Asuka and Roman Reigns on Bill's Instagram. And it's a good-looking figure. I like the gear. I, it really reminds me of, like, I don't know, like 2010 or something, the way her gear looks, or like maybe like 2008, 2011, like that era. I don't know, that's just what I'm getting here, but her tattoos look good. I think the likeness on the head scope could be a bit better. Maybe it's like if somebody repainted the eyes, something is up with the eyes for me here. But I also like the the hair detail, and she's got the, you know, the, the studded hat. But it's a good looking figure overall, and this whole wave is pretty damn good. You got a lot of like young talent in here, and a lot of good looking talent going on right here in this in this wave. So you get a you get some like two or three hard hitters, and then you get some like underutilized talent or some under the radar talent which I think is awesome. So this should be a fun one to, to rank and, and talk about at depth in all the reviews. So this is a good one. Elite 107 is a W for me. And then we're moving on to the Monday Night War Series 1 action figure line, man. The Bill
build a figure Lex Luger wave. I can't wait for these to hit, man. Starting out first, we do have Stone Cold Steve Austin. Looks just like the Defining Moments, pretty much. It's like an updated version. He does come with the torso of the Lex Luger. Comes with a hat, the jacket, the Austin 316. He's got a can of Bish soda going on. Head sculpt looks good. This is great. I mean, this is everything about my childhood wrapped up in one right here. This is an Instacot for me. Great looking figure. Not gonna like shatter the earth, or it could. It might. It just might shatter the earth. It's gonna shatter glass. I know that. I know that was lame. But I really like the packaging here. I like this figure overall. Lots of different things. Buy one and just put the shirt on it. Buy one, take the shirt off. Buy one, put the jacket on there with the shirt. Like, just so many different things you can do here. I'm excited for the Austin and the Austin 316 package right there. Next up, we do have The Undertaker. Very weird looking head sculpt here. A lot of I saw a lot of people making comparisons to different people and, like, who it looks like. And people saying it looks like Bam Margera, which I thought was funny. I don't know if I quite see that, but I guess, like, current day Bam, maybe. But I, I like this figure. You know, it's got the Ultimate Edition boots in there. It does look like it may have the Ultimate Edition legs, actually, as well. I like to crotch down, and they're utilizing this different torso piece. He's got the bigger arms on there. It's a very odd-looking figure, but I'm excited for it. He's got, like, two different gloves. It's a, it's an interesting one. This is an interesting-looking figure for sure, but uh, I'm excited for it. I, th I think it's going to be all right when we get it in hand. Of course, you won't know until you have it in hand, really, to really judge the figure fully, but I'm excited for it. We have Hulk Hogan here in his all-black attack, looking damn good. Brand-new head sculpt, brand-new torso. Uh, just great formula overall. I love how they're utilizing the different parts here in the all black. And it's weird because, like, his pants are, like, a dark gray rather than a black. And then his bandana is the same. And I think that's trying to, like, portray, like, different materials here. But this is a great-looking figure, man. That tan, that necklace... It's a, it's a moment in time, and it's so good. This is really, really good. I know this figure is going to be hard to keep on the shelves as well. I'm really looking forward to this full wave. I'm just looking forward to finding Monday Night War stuff on the aisles. Just wish I had my damn Nitro stage, man. Damn! But there is Hulk Hogan. Very good-looking figure. You know, we've seen this one for a while. You know, different test shots and images and renders and stuff, and now here it is. But Scott Hall in this wave looks very interesting to me. He does come with a shirt from Lex Luger. Uh, we, I actually did get to hold this figure in hand at San Diego Comic-Con. And it was much darker then, like much, much darker. But they have came in here and lightened it up and made it look more natural, I think. And I really wish they could have carried that paint detail over from the pants into the, the denim vest because I really think that would have really added to the figure overall. You know, because you want that to match. Like, it, it looks so flat, and the blue looks very, very, like, cartoonish. So I, I guess we're going to have to, like, dry brush that ourselves or something like that, but I think that would really make this figure look over the top. But uh, great-looking head sculpts. I like this figure. Uh, you know, a lot of people were clamoring for them changing the pants, and, like, they had to figure out the formula, so they took it back to the drawing board, actually did adjust it and fix the figure. So I think that's really awesome that they even tried to do that. So that's really awesome. You got to chalk that one up for a W. But yeah, I am looking forward to the Scott Hall. This figure did feel good in hand when I got to hold it and pose it around at San Diego Comic Con. I think it like fell over in the display case while I was like while I was there, and so they took it out and I actually got to pose it around, and it was it was awesome. So I want to say I got a clip of that, but I never put it on the channel. Nonetheless, this this looks good. I like this Scott Hall figure, and then we do have the build a figure Lex, which looks so awesome. The hands on the hips with the long sleeve white shirt is just nostalgic as hell. I love that. I think that looks great. You guys know that uh, the last couple build a figures with the Virgil and the British bulldog have been so good and i've talked about this on the channel man if they get to a point where you can build figure like not only build a figures or a thing but if they can make it where every elite can pop off at the torso and the arms and the head sculpt that is going to shatter the earth when i talk about earth shattering that is going to just shatter the earth especially if they can maintain the quality and the tightness of the joints in the build of figures when they have this ability oh dude like if you don't have the british bulldog or the virgil build of figures you don't know how quality they are until you get them in hand man but this whole full wave here is just phenomenal. I'm really excited for it. And we do have some more figures that are coming down the pipeline. You guys know that in Series 2, I think it's what, Triple H? It is uh, Fake Diesel, it's Rey Mysterio, and it's Kevin Nash in the, you know, with the removable hair. So they have that full wave, and then the build a figure from that wave is going to be Teddy Long, like a referee Teddy Long. Well, now we're into Series number 3 of the Monday Night Wars, and this is not the full wave, but we do have a couple figures here to take a look at. Now, first of all, the build a figure from Series 3 is going to be the Disciple or, you know, Brutus Beefcake from WCW here, which looks pretty cool. I'm all for, you know, first time on the lines and new, you know, getting new fresh faces into the line. And I know we've seen Brutus Beefcake, but we've never seen this version 
And I know a lot of people are going to want to fill out those collections and things like that. This head sculpt kind of looks like Braun Strowman and Kane Hodder a little bit. So that's what I'm getting out of this. But I still like the figure overall. I'm excited to see what this looks like. And I don't know if it's the best case. Like I don't know. It's, it, is this a deep cut? Yes. I, it, like, is this one that everybody in the world is going to want? No. But I still think that it's going to be cool. Call for some unique sculpts. And I'm very interested in how these chaps are going to work. Because I don't know. If you see what I'm saying. Like, it can't have thigh cut with some cloth goods over the top with double jointed knee. Like, something's going on there, man. Maybe it's going to be cloth goods that go over some regular jeans. And then you'll have the vest in there. But really, uh, really a cool entry. We'll have to see. I know some people were dragging it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I have mixed feelings about it, you know. Now, the next two figures in the Monday Night Wars Walmart exclusive Elite line. So, Series 3 is going to have Harlem Heat. And not just one pair of Harlem Heat. We're getting the Chase Editions as well. So, we're going to get them in their black gear. And then we're going to get them in their blue gear. So, this will be our third pairing of of Harlem Heat that we'll have. We had the Red Gears back in, what, Elite 46, so it's been a really long time since we've seen Harlem Heat. Now we get their black versions and their black gear, and then we will have their blue gear. So, uh, th this is great. So you get Booker T, you get Stevie Ray, you get the Harlem Heat. Didn't they have, like, a really badass, like, white gear or something like that? Or maybe it was only Booker T that had a white gear, but I would really like to see, like, I'm surprised they didn't go Chase Variant, like, NWO version or something like that, but it's still cool to see Harlem Heat. I'm excited for it. I think it'll be awesome. Excited to have these guys in the line there. You know, we, we haven't had many versions of them, obviously. So getting these in here with the updated treatment. And you guys know that usually when they get a chase figure, that does mean that they're probably not going to have figures, you know, coming too far in the future. So it's been a long time since we saw Harlem Heat. So it would be shock me to see, you know, new things and stuff like that. And I'm interested to know if this is going to be a brand new torso choice here. Or is this going to be cloth goods or rubber goods or something like that over the torso? We will have to see about that. You know, it's not showing any ab crunch or anything right here. So we'll have to see about that. But I, I was hyped for the Harlem Heat. I think it's cool. And we do have two more figures in this wave that we'll have to see about that and see you know how they how they fare but nonetheless man we are getting into the next figures in the set we don't know the rest of the figures in the set but we are moving on to some other things that mattel revealed to us man this is a really cool line i think man so you guys know that we did have the introductions of new basics well they're bringing up this new line that is pretty much the championship showdown packs put together with the basics line and i don't know if it's the Ch wwe champions line i think it's what it's called but there's going to be new figures with championships rolling out that are going to be really widely available and I think this is actually a genius idea this first wave here is Brock Lesnar the Rock and Roman Reigns and not only is it those guys but look at their championships we get a Brock Lesnar with a Brock Lesnar WWE championship great looking Brock Lesnar basic you know it's got the new articulation and all those things you also have the Rock with the Brahma Bull championship that we saw in Elite 100 so a very uh promising look for the Rock here because a lot of people are going to want that championship. They want an e oh, easy way to get that instead of buying the Elite 100 Rock. And then you do have Roman Reigns with the Universal Championship with the Roman Reigns side plates. And you may have to buy this when you buy the Ultimate so that you can get, you know, a decent head sculpt in there and you can get the Universal Championship in one go. So that's, a, you know, that's how it works. They give you the wrong one so they can hit you with the basic so you buy it. I'm obviously kidding, but it's still really cool to see this. I am sick of this Roman Reigns head sculpt. I'm actually glad that that Roman Reigns Ultimate doesn't come with this head sculpt because this has come on like 17 different Roman Reigns figures. So I'm excited that, uh, you know, that they changed that up. But I don't know, man. This is a really cool wave. I do like that you have different championships here. There, I think this is a good way to get championship belts in the line. Imagine like, they could release, like, guys, like, championships that we haven't even seen before. They could put, you know, a guy in here that's highly sought after with that championship and easily push out a basic to uh, mass retail. So I think that's a pretty genius thing there. Uh, obviously, they do need to be sought after or whatever. But I feel like belts, man, people see those shiny belts in the pack. How many times have you walked down the damn aisle and the championship's missing out of a figure? Like, it happens a lot. So maybe this will cut down on theft, man. Maybe maybe these, like, people will see that basic and be like, yeah, it is only 12 bucks. Let me, let me buy the, the, I get a figure and the title belt for half the price of an elite. I don't want to buy the full elite for the belt. So that, that I think that's a pretty genius marketing plan there. I like this. I like this wave here. Excited to see where these go in the future. I could see John Cena getting one. Like, I, oh, dude, you could do like Ruthless Aggression Cena or 2005, 2006 Cena with the Spinner Championship in this basic line. Oh, damn. I wanted an elite, obviously, but that would be a cool basic anyways. Let's shut the hell up. Diving into it, we have Championship Showdown Packs. Now, we do have HBK and British Bulldog. We have Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lash, and we do have Ring of Honor legend Ronda Rousey with Liv Morgan here, and this white gear Bobby, man, damn, why, is it, why isn't this an elite, man? And not only that, why is Brock Lesnar over there looking like a damn honeycomb mouth? I mean, good lord, but great looking chat. We're getting another Brock Lesnar WWE Championship, but this, this Bobby Lashley looks so good, man. Why couldn't that be an elite? Like, 
gum, and it's so it's such a tease because it has those new articulations, so it looks like elite legs. It doesn't have thigh cut or anything, but it's still a damn looking good basic. I might see if I see this, I'm buying it. I, if I see this at retail, I'm absolutely copping that. That Bobby Lashley looks very clean. You guys know how I feel about that gear. Really wanted it in ultimate form, but. That's a pretty cool battle pack. I think this is a, a really interesting battle pack. I think it gets the job done there. We also have British Bulldog and Shawn Michaels. It's decent enough. You know, you get the World Championship. Solid looking British Bulldog. I feel like he's been getting a ton of figures lately, so that's cool. I like the knee pads. I like the gear for Shawn over here. I know it's the, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the Defining Moments, the newer Defining Moments Shawn Michaels head sculpt, but it is what it is. That's a, that's a solid addition. Little uh, mixture there for your Championship Showdown pack. And then we do have the Ring of Honor Ronda Rousey. I do not like these head sculpts here on the Ronda or the Liv Morgan. I like the gear on Liv Morgan, but the head sculpts on these just look weird to me. Ronda Rousey looks like an AI-generated Ronda Rousey, and then Liv Morgan, her head sculpt looks like a chipmunk or something. It's very weird looking, and I, I don't know. It's something about the... To I don't know, man. Something's off about that Liv Morgan figure. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. I don't know what it is about that. I just am I'm not really feeling this battle pack whatsoever, but we also have some more basics here. And uh, this basic series, I can't remember. I think this is maybe basic series 143, maybe? I can't remember off the top of my dome, but pretty decent wave here, man. Starting out first, we do have Mr. T here, and he is the chase, actually. So you're going to have Mr. T in the short sleeve ref shirt with the, you know, the blue and the red stripes. And then we're also having Mr. T in the long ref shirt, which I think is awesome. I love this chase variant. The long ref shirt. If I see this, I'm I'm copping it, and I don't even like basics. But I just like this a lot. I like the gloves, and like, I don't know. He just looks very toyetic. I, I don't know what it is about the, the long sleeve ref shirt right here that I like. And I might buy the short sleeve ref shirt as well, but having two Mr. T's right here, they're still getting everything out of that Mr. T mold, man. Just still cranking out Mr. T figures is crazy. But we are also getting some hit row figures, man. We do have Adonis right here, which... Is looking pretty good. I like the head sculpt. I think it does look like the character. I actually went to a guy. I went to a college with a guy that looks just like him. So I think that's awesome. One of my teammates looking looking pretty cool right there. Shout out Ryan. But I like the gear and everything like that. I like the shoe mold going on here. This may actually be a really good basic because of the leg mold and stuff like that with the shoe mold. Like it may be a pretty. Uh, I don't know. I think this this is actually a pretty cool basic. I like the details you got going on. This Becky Lynch figure here is just not hitting it for me. I feel like I've seen this Becky Lynch about ten times now. Uh, not the most exciting. The head sculpt's decent, you know. They struggle to make Becky Lynch figures that look good, so... This is what it is. It's not horrific, but it's, I, I don't know. It's just not for me, I guess. You guys can let me know what you think there. And also, those basic boots are just god-awful. Just get just get them the hell out. We also have Cody Rhodes here. Nice-looking Cody Rhodes figure. I like the, the silver, the black, and the, the red going on. Solid-looking head sculpt. It is kind of that, I don't know. It doesn't look as good as the Defining Moments. They still have not gotten back to the Defining Moments head sculpt, which I think is the best one. I don't know how they made that figure or that head sculpt from that figure look so good, but it is cool. I might grab it. You know, again, man, with basics, it's probably going to be one of those things where I see it at retail and I'm like, oh, dude, I'm buying this. Like, I don't know if I'll... I don't know what I'm going to do with the basics yet, but I'm definitely going to be buying way more basics now, which is just an absurd thing to say, man. That LA Knight figure just broke me mentally. We also have John Cena here. This is going to be a cop for me because we never got this attire in elite form. And so I am going to be buying this. I think the head sculpt's probably stuck on there. And even if it is stuck on there, I could... Uh, you, you see how it has the bicep band? All I got to do is make custom wristbands, pop this bicep band onto an Elite or Ultimate, get a custom claw shirt, pop this head sculpt on there, and bam, I have this figure in Elite form, which we could probably do on surgery, which I know everybody's waiting on, but... My office has been out of sorts, so it's hard to get surgery planned. So now, uh, once the office is fully complete, we're going to get su surgery going back here. And this could be featured on there, so that, that's definitely something. But we also have another basic wave here featuring some pretty cool basics. We have Rey Mysterio here. Now, this Rey Mysterio I have mixed feelings about. I feel like his arms are, like, so damn long. He looks like a tarantula or something. Going to crawl through the screen and bite your head off. I don't know what's going on here. I don't like this head sculpt, but the gear is really cool. And he has very long arms for whatever reason, but it's a solid Rey Mysterio basic. I know we've seen a lot of those over the years, but we also have Dominic Mysterio here, which is a pretty solid basic. I think this one's going to sell. A lot of people like Dom and stuff like that. If you miss out on the Elite 105 or you can't get the Elite 109, this is a this is a pretty good, a pretty good you know, uh, differentiation. He has knee pads. Why can't his damn Elites have knee pads, man? Also, his new Elite 109 figure, I hope it has this shirt on it or I'm going to throw hands. That's just a joke, but seriously, the shirt was blank. Hopefully, it does have this graphic featured on the front. We also have Karrion Cross. I'm not a Karrion Cross guy, but this looks pretty good. I like all his tattoos, updated haircut, and things like that. 
Kind of has like a Gerard Butler style thing going on with it, but it looks very quality. I like the gear. I, I like this. I like this figure, and uh, yeah, I I'll, I'll, I'll probably cop this. If I find this at retail, I probably would cop this just to have that updated head sculpt and make some different... I mean, he'll probably have a new Elite coming after this, but still, it is cool to see a new Karrion Cross. And we also have B-Fab in here, and she's a pretty toyetic figure as well. She's got the long high heel boots on there. She's got the hit row, like, waist wrap thing. She's got her ombre hair. It looking pretty good, I'd say. And she also has a vest on, so this is a pretty cool basic. I, I like it. Again, maybe a, if I see it at retail, probably gonna grab that. Again, we're, we'll, we'll have to cross these bridges when we get to the Toy Hunt videos, because on the Toy Hunt videos, I can kind of address it and be like, ah, what am I doing? Kind of pick and choose, so... We'll have to see about those as well, but we are rounding it up here with the last figures, and we do have the Ultimate Warrior. We have a regular, like, bright orangish red attire, and then we do have, like, this pale yellow, like, Minneapolis Lakers-looking gear with orange knee pads, and both of these are pretty good. I like these, you know. Again, basics have greatly improved, so I can never fully judge a basic, I don't think, you know, in the on these render shots. I mean, I guess if some are just egregious, but both of these look like pretty quality Ultimate Warriors, so what else can you really want out of those? But the last thing we have are these little mini figures, and I think they're called, like, Knuckle Crunchers is what they're calling them. And they actually look pretty damn good. Like, I like the stylization of these figures. You got the ring and the weapons and the table. And uh, they have different characters. You have Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins. You have John Cena, Roman Reigns. You got The Rock. So, I like this a lot. I like all, all of these. These look really, really awesome. I'm excited. I'm excited. If I see these again, I'll probably grab these. They remind me a lot of, like, the Loyal Subject figures, which I liked a lot. So, this, this is probably going to be something that I look into. Maybe have, like, a little mini display or something. But I like the accessories and stuff. You guys can let me know if these look interesting to you or whatnot. But uh, some some kid on Christmas is going to be opening this up, and I hope he enjoys every single second of it. But I do believe that is every single bit of news we had, man. I told you it was going to be a long one. I wanted to get all of my thoughts out on here, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this, just breaking down each figure and talking about it. And I hope you guys enjoy, you know, breaking down the figures as much as I do and listening to it and, and wanting to know what the what the scoop is there. But uh, yeah, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up all of your news for today. Had a lot of reveals, had a lot of stuff going on. I mean, you could argue this is probably more than we saw at ringside fest like a, a ton of different updates and figures and stuff like I, i'm pretty sure there's like maybe five six figures on here that we didn't know were coming the rest i'm pretty sure we knew were coming we just didn't know what they were going to look like and what updates they had and things but that is pretty much all of it man so i hope you guys do let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below i'd love to know what your thoughts are on all of it but i am wrapping the video up man thank you guys so very much for watching huge shout out to our patron members of the md to youtube channel always appreciate those guys they've been getting updates on the office and, and things of that nature and what we're planning ahead there so thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy hope you guys do have a happy thanksgiving again have a blessed time and enjoy the meal and enjoy the fellowship enjoy everything about it with your family man whether you have one person or two or 300 whatever it is man just soak it in be thankful and just just embrace the holiday man because i am so thankful for you guys and everything here and just everything about the channel and everything like that so i do greatly appreciate all of you and all of your support and for watching and commenting and engaging man you guys are the absolute best but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching have a blessed day, and I'll catch you later.